Hey girls, it's Jamie, and if you've seen my show before, then you know that I've covered bracelets, necklaces, and earrings. And that last one's crazy because I don't even have my ears pierced. But there's been one piece of jewelry that I still haven't yet covered. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own decorative wire ring. Let's do it, girl. Okay, so the main step in creating your ring is to make the base. For that, you're going to need thick wire, between 18 and 22 gauge, needle nose pliers, and scissors or wire cutters. Now you can put almost any type of decoration on top of your ring base, from charms to fake flowers to duct tape designs. For this round, I decided to nab some thin wire, around 28 gauge, an assortment of beads, decorative paper, clear flat bottom marbles, seashells, craft glue, and a variety of paint. No matter what, you'll need a hot glue or a strong super glue to connect the decorations to your base. All right, let's bring it on. Step one. The first step is to begin creating your ring base by cutting and folding your thick gauge wire. Snip off a six inch piece and fold over one end into itself to create a smooth edge. Grab that end with your fingers and slowly spiral the wire around itself. Now this spiral is going to be the complete base of your ring, so make it just a little bit smaller than the decoration that you want to put on top of it. Once you're happy with your spiral size, wrap the remaining wire around your ring finger. And not like your ring finger, you know, but the finger that you want to put your ring on unless that is your ring finger, and then, you know, proceed. Keep going until the wire bends back to touch the bottom of the spiral. At this point, you'll pinch the wire and bend it backwards to return it to its original spot on the other side of the spiral. Step two, all that's left to do is trim the remaining wire so that its end touches right behind your spiral. If you like, you can use a small amount of super glue to keep it in place. And there you go, you now know how to bring the base. Not that kind of base. Moving on. Now this actually makes a fun ring in and of itself, especially if you painted a bunch of these in a variety of colors. However, if you wanted to be like me and use it as a killer base, stop it. If you wanted to be like me and use it as a ring table for your decoration to stand on, then I'm going to show you three different ring bling options. Let's restart our steps and begin with the easiest embellishment, a personalized marble ring. Step one. The first step is to create your paper design using decorative paper. I decided to print up something personalized on the computer. The next step is to glue your paper to the bottom of your marble using your craft glue. Once the glue has dried, the final step is to attach your marble to your ring base. Outline the top of your base with a light layer of super glue glue and then affix the marble to its center. Literally as easy as one, two, three, this marble ring shows off your funky fashion in a big way. All right, next up, let me get you ready for summer fashion by showing you how to make your own seashell ring. Seashell ring. Seashell ring. Step one. The first step is to go find yourself a seashell. Now they do sell them in craft stores or if you live near the beach like me, you can find one. The next step would be to design your seashell. You could paint it a bright color like gold or red or you can glue on little accent jewels or you could just be like me and leave it the way that it is. What can I say, I'm all natural. The final step is to glue the ring to its base. You'll want to try your ring on first and then place your shell on top of the base to see how far down it can set while still feeling comfortable on your finger. Once that's determined, turn your shell upside down and fill it up three quarters of the way with your hot glue or strong super glue. Then take your ring base and dip it top down into the glue. Hold it in place as the glue dries. And just so we're clear, don't wear the ring while dipping it into the glue. If you do that, then you risk adhering the glue to your skin. Once the glue dries, you're all set. Now you can sell seashell rings by the seashore. Finally, for those of you who like working with beads and wire, I'll show you how to make your own stacked flower ring. Step one, cut your thin wire into three pieces that are each two feet long. The next step is to bead each wire. We'll start with the bottom flower first. String 18 beads into the center of your wire. Twist your wire at the end of both beads in order to create your first flower petal loop. Repeat this step four more times, adding on 18 beads before twisting them into another flower petal loop. When finished, twist the end of your wire in order to lock everything into place. Now's the time to bead your wire to form the middle flower. You'll repeat the exact same steps as the bottom wire, only this time you'll use 13 beads instead of 18. You should once again have five flower petals, twisting the wire at the end in order to keep them all in place. Finish off your top flower by stringing 10 beads into five petal loops. This time, before twisting the ends, you'll take one wire end and pull it 
up above the flower in order to string on a big bulb bead that will serve as the middle of your flower. All that's left to do is to connect your flowers together. Insert the wire ends of your middle flower through the petals of your bottom flower. Then insert the wire from the top flower through the petals of the middle and bottom flowers. Now's the time to slip all of your wires through the top of your ring base and then twist them all into place. Cut off any remaining wire and tuck it safely into place. And there you go, your fancy flower ring is complete. You now have three fun, easy and affordable ways to show off your finger fashion this season. What type of decorative ring did you make? Tweet me at Jamie Petito, Instagram me at Hey Jamie, or just tell me all about it in the comments below. We did it girl, I'm Jamie and you're on girl.com. Thank you to all of my fans for subscribe ring to this channel. And my corny jokes. Again, you'll have seven petal. Petals? Seven petals for the petal. Seven petals for petito. Mama, mama, mama. Ta, 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 ta.